Okay, welcome back, Unit 3, Video 4. At the end of the last one, I said that we were going to talk about norms, but that's not true. We're going to talk about our experience of the social structure, so our moment-by-moment -moment experience of it. Um, I've got three main points, and there's a degree of philosophical depth in this. So um, the three points are going to be um, about how you know where you are in the... In the um, social uh, in the social structure um, it's going to be about a uh, second point is going to be formal versus informal situations and third is going to be about um, how where you are in the social structure can change all right um, key term in this entire thing is the idea of the definition of the situation so I talked about the fact that um, that our experience of the social structure, I think I mentioned this, our experience of the social structure is situations. So you're in a classroom situation where a professor's talking to you, or you're driving, and that's a particular situation. Um, uh, or you're at the grocery store, that's a particular situation. You're on a date, that's a particular situation. You're hanging out with your friends, that's a particular situation, and it's different than the situation of hanging out with your family. Um, so our experience of the social structure is uh, is situation. So the the framing question that I want to ask is, how given that, how do you know what to do in a classroom? And think about that for just one moment. Now, uh, what most people will go to immediately with that is, well, you're in the you're in the status of student, and so you do your studenty stuff. You sit quietly, you take notes. But that's not true. You do that if the situation is defined as sociology class or English class or biology class. But when you walk into that classroom, generally speaking, class hasn't started, which means the situation is something slightly different. It's not class. It is, if you're in there with your boyfriend or girlfriend, it might be, um, like, not, not like, a huge romantic encounter but you might be having like a romantic conversation or if you're in there with your friends you might be in a social situation called hanging with your friends the issue is and this is the the important point about point number one um, the definition of the situation determines where you are in the social structure now really importantly it doesn't determine where you are physically all of those things can happen in the same place but where you are in the social structure, which means what status in your status set you are supposed to enact the norms of, depends on the definition of the situation. Same place, but I just, I just um, went through three different places in the social structure that you could be while you're sitting in that, in that, uh, in your chair in class. You could be in a romantic encounter. You could be in sociology class. And those two are, are different situations which require you to act differently because you're in a different status. Your friend starts whispering you during the lecture and you have a choice, right? You can think about, I'm going to pay attention or I'm going to shift. And when you do that, that little shift is a stepping out of the status of student and into the status of friend. The definition of the situation at that moment changes and it might flick right back. You might say, hey, I can't talk right now. But in that moment, you're, you've shifted into friend and now you shift back into student. So really crucial first point, the definition of the situation, which I, you could read that right there. Like I don't need to keep showing it to you. The definition of the situation determines where we are in the social structure, not the physical place. The definition of the situation determines where we are in the social structure. So you can think about you sitting in one place in that big organizational flowchart of every status. It's like you're sitting there and all of a sudden you are in student and then it gets dialed over and you're in a romantic situation and then you're in friend situation and then all of a sudden a cop walks in and all of a sudden you're not in any of those and maybe you're in a situation of a crime um, it's hard to it's hard to know but the point is you're sitting there you're not moving and where you are um, in the social structure changes all right so that's point one point two 
is that there are formal situations and informal situations. And I think this is where I'm going to actually make use of this. What we, um, in the social structure, we're going to divide these two, uh, these two quadrants up in terms of informal situations and formal situations. Now, I'm going to give these. Um, I'm going to give these kind of better sounding names in a in a future lecture. For right now, I'll just foreshadow. Um, the informal situations are going to be called the interaction order, and they are going to be patterned um, because again, there are statuses and norms even here. Um, they just are not consequential for the functioning of a society. Formal situations, or what we're going to talk about as social institutions, are patterned ways of meeting society's needs, patterned ways of putting food on the table, table patterned ways of raising young people to be able to take part in the economy. Um, those situations, and we actually went through when I was doing that whole stupid shifting thing, we went through the idea of you going from an informal situation. It's not consequential that you hang out with your friends for society. It doesn't meet particular needs um, of society. It's an informal situation, but you're sitting there and then whoop, the teacher starts talking and you get put into a formal situation, um, one in which you are training for a job, even though we don't often conceptualize it that way. Um, so informal situations, um, informal situations are grouped into what we're going to call the interaction order, and our next set of lectures will be about the interaction order. Um, formal situations are the ones that are necessary for meeting our needs, and they can be grouped together as social institutions. So informal and formal, interaction order, social institutions. Um, and I will go back over that uh, in the next two segments of, the, of this unit. OK, the third point um, actually is a point that I kind of have already made, um, that where you are in the social structure, um, can change moment by moment. So we talked about that just a minute ago. That's actually all I've got, those three points. Definition of the situation, which is the crucial point for this entire lecture. Definition of the situation, not your physical location. The definition of the situation determines where you are in the social structure and therefore um, what is socially appropriate to do. Um, there are two different categories of situations, uh, for, uh, informal ones and formal ones. Uh, the formal ones are the ones that are necessary for us for meeting our needs. And third is where you are in the social structure can change moment by moment. You don't have to get up and physically go someplace else. Um, all right, that's it. Might be a record for this unit in shortest uh, video. I will see you for another short one, actually, in the next one.